Hello, one and all, to Aeronautica, a flight simulator slash RPG experience. My name is Carl, and there's some players on the list. <laughs> Alright, so over the course of six days, the developers have fixed some issues. So starting with the patch note, 1.152.1, please pause the video to read the notes as I click the left button. All right, so in my last video, the Airbus A321-200 had a capacity of 35. And it's now increased to 41, as intended, in comparison to the A321-NEO. Oh, they, the engines have swapped. Oh, yes, I... I totally forgot the uh, the developer island at Harden. It's been removed for all we know what reasons. Still remember there was a present in front of Northern Wings' mansion. And I think this has to do with it. The floating crate near Kawella. So the Boeing 777-200 rarity has been reduced from yellow to green. It's no longer an ER. And this is the final on August 4th. The temporary removal of the wing vapor effect. And this minor update is reverted the aero scenery and server size back to normal. And this long awaited frequency of storms. You could have seen, if you played this, you could have seen how many storms came out. Right. You don't want to know why it's 1.152.4, because look at this one. Just hours ago, there's a degraded mode. And let's try joining one of these. So we'll choose the F7, the 9.3, or the F4. Nobody's typing yet. Let's go with the youngest. The F4, C5, F0. Are those hard, were those hornets or super hornets, by the way? So, here it is. So before the 1.152.4, there's a degraded mode due to the recent Roblox update. Due to server memory limitations or bugs, the developers have been forced to remove a large segment of scenery in order to comply with the new, not the new, the old 6.5 gigabyte server memory cap. And then, it should be temporary. The only concurrent player here is... Oh, I can't see the name with this Xbox Game Bar recording. It's... Oh, hello, Lepus. And that's about it. So here is Altac, and... Notice the difference here. This is... All the trees have been removed. Yeah, it's 
It's white phosphor. All right, let's go back to the lobby. Okay then, let's join a server here. It's three Bravo Foxtrot, six five Foxtrot. And let me announce the chat. <laughs> oh, that slash. Did I press it twice? All right, so pause the video to read the full update notes since the first patch. Here are the concurrent players. Hello, Set an Isle. Sure, go ahead. Try. You can try a bit. All right, then. So, patch, then next day, three in a row, and then just today or tonight after that Roblox update. Golden Dog. All right then. So we're here at Altac International. See any difference? How many more buildings than the last? Scenery update reduction. Huge difference. Now then, let's see one of the significant changes we have here in this since this update and also any aircraft that I've missed. Okay, no hablo espanol. Let's...
Oh, well, nice try on Spanish nitrate. All right, so we've been selected a Boeing 777-300. And there's a new cycle, this is still ongoing. The not notification doesn't come out in the bottom of the chat. All right. So here is the 777-300. It's painted with Cathay Pacific. The special Spirit of Hong Kong. So it's Bravo Hotel. Yeah, Bravo Hotel, November Kilo. So what I've read, it's they just, a few months ago, this has been reverted to a normal cafe livery. So you don't see this much. You don't see the special anymore. It's back to the normal livery, like the other 300s. But here we go, this is the 300. Oh, a slight mistake. You didn't have to mirror the entire plane. This is the One World logo. It, this, is, this isn't needed. Just on the, uh, the port side. All right, let's open the advanced customization for the 777-300. And here they are. So, three options, SATCOM and the engine. So let me open the jet photos and get this comparison going on. Okay, so Bravo Hotel November Kilo. All right, there's a SATCOM just in front of the fourth doors. All right, so first, you got the engine choices. You can choose between Pratt & Whitney W4090, if you like Korean or all Nippon Airways. And since it's Cafe Pacific, we're gonna choose the Rolls-Royce Trent 895. Now it fits with delivery correctly. Wait, uh, was this meant for a 777-300ER? Because this does look like it's texture here for the 300ER, the GA90. Yeah, this was probably posted before the 300 was released. And yes, well, I don't remember the normal 300 with the option of the GE90. Can anyone confirm? Oh, hello, Fizz. Yeah, the engine texture looks like a 300 ER. Yeah, the GE90. Either way. Um, oh yeah, yours, triple seven, yeah, that's ANA, <laughs> that's, it's a 300 ER. Now, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't remember Boeing giving the option of the GE90 on a normal 300. So, in this case, we will, yeah, there's a white outing there, That's, that would pretty <laughs> defeat the purpose of the <laughs> engine top here. So, let's change this properly to the Trent. Alright, now we'll go for second option one, 
you know, SACOM auction 2 is on the second, second line here instead of the first line. I hope that, as well as this one, the option 1A, 1C. Alright, so for SACOM option 1, you can choose between the clean, label correctly as clean 1 because you got clean 2, and here is option 1A. Is it's above the second doors, then option 1B, in between the second and third doors, and 1C is above the fourth. Wait, did, did it just copy it from the, these copy the options from 300ER? Oh, you got an idea there. Wait. Oh, I don't want to continue. All right, then there's your SATCOM option two. Here is two A. It's behind the fourth doors. Two B in front of the fourth doors, and two C is behind the third doors. All right, let's compare with the real plane. And the SATCOM is located in front of the third door. <laughs> no, not in front of the third doors. It's located in front of the fourth doors. Oops, 2A, I guess, or 2B. Yes, here, 2B. And there's no SATCOM option 1. Hmm. I've checked the real plane and... This should be bigger. So this is this one A, this is one C, and one B. Well, can you place one D? Yeah, this should be one D. Just the real Bravo Hotel November Kilo, and the the other Cathay 300s have the SACOM in here. It's it should be the bigger type. The round, so you can say it's option 1D. Yeah, there should be an option 1D. And there you go. As a temporary measure, we'll just put 2B. And here's your 777-300. What do you think of this livery? There's a bit of mistakes, but it's the best they can do. Boeing 777-300. Let's purchase. Now on to the next plane. The Boeing 777-200LR. So which LR can we take? Let's we want an Hegel, Harden, or Porto. Let's go for the Porto one. They're all the same. So here is Porto Menezes Airport. The Pseudo Tenerife Norte. Now let's open the advanced customization for the Boeing 777-200LR. And you only have SATCOM options. So let's pick a random airline. How about Qatar? Right, Qatar. All right, so your SACOM options is for option one, there's A behind the second doors and one B in front of the third doors. So Qatar has the SACOM behind the second 
say that. And for option two, we got A. Behind the third and B in the middle. So we'll compare where the second goes. So, so for Qatar it would be 1A and 2A. But that's just an example. The other airlines would be different. So here's your 200 LR. All right then, I think that's all for the triple sevens. All right, the triple seven nine. So here we go, the British Airways livery. What do you think? They don't have their triple seven nines yet, so at least here's here's a good concept of that. Do you think the G logo should be in the center of the engine side? So the registration it's uh, Golf Dash Whiskey Bravo Alpha Alpha. So it could be different when they. <laughs> roll these out in a few years. So the placement of the... Oh, yeah, the, it doesn't have to be close to the One World logo. Tax, push it more to the... on the side, closer to the coat of arms. And this one is good anyway. Now for the advanced customization of the Boeing 777-9, or 9X, I'd say 9X for this one because it's not ready for delivery. So your SACOM option, it's, there's one A in between the first and second doors, one B behind the second, and one C behind the third. And your second option two, A is above the emergency door, two B is above the third doors, and C is right in the middle. There's also a door configuration. So there's the 10 door, and you see in the prototype, and there's also the 8 door. So, so four extra windows, just remove the, these two side doors there, and you know, most of the liveries won't tolerate that. It still has the 10 door option, so let's put that 10 door. And there you go, dear Boeing 7799 9X. Put them all in 1A and 2A. All right. Next airline on the list is the 757s. Right, the 757s. I've sold my 200, so we're, for now we're stuck with the 300s. But we'll give you the significant difference here. Let's select this one. I recently bought this from another player, and you can see the Wings ID. It's 
it's been modified. So if you use the old Wings ID, you'd get something like this. It's, it's just push forward. So it's, you didn't have to do this. And this one has a Northwest Airlines livery. It's a November 596, November Whiskey. All right, so we're gonna do this properly. Let's start with this. You don't need to modify, th this doesn't need any modifications. As that comes, I think it's already looks good as it is. Because it's Northwest, there's no winglets. So for the advanced customizations, we'll do the other, t we'll, we'll do it on the other two. So let's start with the November 5, 9 or 1, November Whiskey. Now in service with Delta. I will open the chat photos. So your three options, the SATCOM, the engine, and wing. Right, so your option for the SATCOM, it's forward mounted or rear mounted. The forward mounted, it's in front of the second doors, and the rear is on this third, above the third door. Or side door, it's, yeah, above this. So, the real Delta plane is forward mounted, particularly as yes, uh, 5, 9, or 1. And you can also choose the engines. You've got a product Whitney, you know, you 2043 or 2043, and also the Rolls-Royce RB211-535E. So, Northwest Airlines and Delta Airlines use the product with me. And the rest use Rolls-Royce. So, if even if you put the RB211 on this one, it's you'll see any of those. <laughs> It's never meant for that. <laughs> All right, let's return this to Prawn Whitney, and you will also call them wing tips. Why say wing tips? Why call them wing? It's correctly say wing lefts, not wing tips. Anyways, you have the option of blended or shimitar winglets, and the original. Do you think these are so called? Yeah, do they call this winters per se? Right, so let's start with the original. So early on in Delta or Northwest, there's no wing tip. There's no wing lets. Then like around mid to twenty tens, they put blended winglets. As intended. So the first ones get the uh the two hundreds, get the winglets first and then the three hundreds. That's why you see some of Northwest 757-200s wing, have winglets right after, before the merger with Delta. And there's also an option for Shimitar winglets. These little points. Uh, but if I recall correctly, it's only applied to the 200s. We have yet to see a 757-300 with the Shimitars. So for that, we'll just stay at blended winglets. And there you go, the Delta Airlines Boeing Let's purchase the customization. And we're back at Kaisboro. Now let us go to the other 757 300.
This one here, the Maras Regional, Pseudo Madeira. And this has delivery of Condor. It's the Delta Dash Alpha Bravo Oscar India. So what do you think of this livery? It's it has the matching engines. RB211. But hold on. Is it shouldn't be there at the Condor logo around on the inner engine sides. And where'd the red line go? It's you know, whoever you, know, you could have continued on and just check the real photos of this Delta A, yeah, Delta Dash, Alpha Bravo Oscar India, and then could have would be so artistic. All right, let me bring out the real plane. And we'll customize this. So, as before, the Rolls Royce engines. Let's see if there are any SATCOMs. There are no SATCOMs installed on the Condor. And the winglets, is it blended or shimitar? So, here's the shimitar. <laughs> Not the shimitar, yeah. Here's the blended winglets, right? And I think there's some also miss. Uh, where are the stripes? The real plate has uh, blue white stripes horizontally. You know, missed opportunity there. And the shimitar, yeah, that's. As I said, uh, I don't see any 300s with these, so we'll remain it at the blended. Then there you go. A Condor Boeing 757-300. This could have been further improved, though. Sehr gut. And let's purchase the options. That's about it with the All right then, let's now find the constellations. So okay, so they're all at Ockney Island. So we'll start with the L seven forty nine A. So this little Connie here. So any of you want to buy one of these? Because it's only the C121 that's more significant. So the customization options for the this earlier Connie is L749, your default option, or you can change it to the C121A. This Conan. So round or cone and then your window options you can have the rear bulkhead window or the blank so here it is and none so one window or two window one pair of windows or no pair on the tail area and the prop cones you want large or you want small Here's the small, and uh, so here's the large. So the full is large, and that's all for the engines. Now the communications configurations. You can have the factory one option. There's the factory two. One, two, one, two, one. And also the modernization. So, they've modernized the early Connie. The glass dome, you want to add the dome. So it's, it's 
sounds more military. Yes, the dome, none, glass dome, none. And there are some extras. Speed pack. So it increases the capacity by one at the cost of your speed and range. That's so significant there. Or you can add the lower high frequency antenna. So this this thing here. I mean these things. The antennae. Antenna antenna antennae. It's like a pear. So this is your early Connie. Now let's go for the later Connie variant, starting with the L1049G. So here's the L1049G. The more common for other airlines. So you can change the base variant from an L1049G to the L1049H. There's some difference there on the tail area. There's an extra window and door. Uh, you can move the, the doors more move there for the H. Uh, look at this one here. There's more windows. So windows and doors. You can change the prop cones from large or aerodynamic. Here, look at the engines. That is large cone or aerodynamic. It's metallic, then solid. And also the configurations: factory one, factory two, or none. So one, two. One, two, one, two, zero. Would you like to add the wingtip fuel tanks? It adds more range and has a slight speed issue. Or, yeah, at the cost of speed, you'd add more range. Your fuel tanks. I wonder if they will release the Starliner. And you can also add a lower high frequency antenna or antennae. Do you think it's this is just one antenna or just there are two antennae? And you want to change the nose, you want a short nose. And are these <laughs> yeah, nose lights? Here's the long, here's the short, long, short, long. And there's your L1049, G or H, the super constellation. Right, two more Connies to go. We'll start with the Lockheed C-121. The military variant of the 1049. So, your options. The prop cone. You want larger aerodynamic, as usual. And the communication configuration, there's only zero or one. So this is zero, and this is one. Zero, one. You can also add wingtip fuel tanks. That's the point there. The, the loss of Australian Connie has this. And you want to lower high frequency antenna, or you yeah, have antennae. So that's all, only these four options. And there's your military super Cadi.
And then you can convert this to the a wax variant, the, the early warning <laughs> for 35,000 money. And I don't have to because I bought another one just for this video. The EC-121 Warning Star. So the advanced customization, you only have the aerodynamic cones and wingtip fuel tanks. That's all. So increase options there. That's all. No antennae? The EC-121. All right then. Next, we will see the advanced customizations of the fighter planes. So, where's the J-22? All right, they're still parked at Eurofa, and they're meant for reselling. Have little use to these, if possible, but the Serb still, yeah, Serb still. So, for the advanced customization of the J-22A, you can, for the outer pylon, the inner pylon, the bottom pylon, and you can also have the base variants and extra fairings. So, we'll start first with the variant. There's the J-22A, and there's also the NJ-22. So 22A, 22, you can also have these two here, the IAR-93A, and the, this one here, this, you see any difference? It's a double seat, the IAR-93A, this is the AR-93A. Do you think it's a double seat or call it, they call it AS or something. And here's the extra fairing option. This, these two. You can put up something at the bottom pylon. You want a fuel tank or just the bottom pylon itself, so there's the bottom pylon, and there's a fuel tank. So if you don't want a fuel tank, you can just put an empty, or uh, drop tanks. Are these drop tanks? So there's, I don't see any change in <laughs> range. That's weird. Hope they fix it soon. All right, now you can put armaments on the outer pylon and also on the inner. So you've got an AGM-65 and the inner is AGM-65s. That the K13, the Vumpel, you can also have no armament, just the pylons. So here's the K13, or I don't think this, is this Russian armaments? It's, you can say. Okay, that's it. 
Hmm. Right. And then you can also put in the the car got sat three. The car dot sat three. Cake twenty three. Grom. And LPR fifty seven. Here it is. Hmm. Yeah. Auto cannons. Or just I should have done more research on these. And the LPR one twenty two. One hundred twenty two. Wish wish wish. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were missiles, but you know, they look like auto cannons. Yeah, I'll do more research on these. I've overlooked this. So here's the J what is it wa? J22A or any of the variants you wish. The J what is it wa? The J22. Let us now teleport to Yosho Museum. Check the options for the Northrop P61. And it's jet black. <laughs> Chad died in... <laughs> Alright, concurrent players. Still around. So we're here at Yosho. We got the P61A. For the advanced customization, you can change to either the A, the B, or the C. And I guess only the B and C are the ones you see in... The B and C are found in museums. So, this is the P61A. You notice any difference on the... Then here's P61B. So, A, B, A, B, so... Or it's, it's fairings. I know it's just black. The sunrise is about to come in uh, how many five ga game minutes? So, all right, there we go. The the P sixty one B has these pylons. So that's it. Only the pylons for A and B. Now for C, your option C. Have some improvements on the engines. Yeah, it's just only just the engines that are modified for the C variant. And there is your Northrop P sixty one. So I recommend the V or C, but come on, no significant change. Uh, Alright, it's just, don't let the 2,000 weeks points to waste, so I guess put some, at least add some suggestion to uh, <laughs> improve upon, so once again, A, B, C, A, B, C, B, C, B, C, <laughs> Tito, uh, the P-61. Right then. Next we'll just get the fighters, the F-15. So which F-15 do I have to put? So we have an F-15C or an F-15D. So for this reason, we'll have to... Uh, we're going to choose either the C or the D. So this has a Japan Air Assault Defense Force. Double seat. The single seat is... Uh, yes, United States. So what are the options added for this one? They just rebottled this? Or... There's more to this. Alright. 
any changes around here? You got like, two drop tags where you want it clean. Well, we already had drop tags. Uh, the armaments on the pylons, sidewinders or the the Abram. Nothing much. Then the satellite, you can put a drop tag. Yes, you can put a drop tag. And the conformal, you could uh, more aim one twenty arm rams. And the conformal field tank. So clean or you add conformal. Does it impact? Yeah, I, yeah, this should be a uh, clean. And you have the cedar variant, it's C or D. Well, this or and the formation lights. Really, I don't see any changes in this one. Really, uh, what's what's the change on this? The model or? All right then. So next one we got the the Strike Eagle. The Strike Eagle. This one here. So, are there any changes to this one? So, there's the drop tanks, the pylons, and yeah, conformal, conformal. So, you want the the armaments on the pylons. You want the drop tank on this, or the TBU-10. Then conformal stores, you want the JDAM. It's a Mark 82, and then also the Amram. And formation lights. And the targeting pod. So you want the the ANA Q28, the lightning, or the sniper. It's already been modified with the sniper, so we'll say it that way. Alright. Well, according to this, they, <laughs> you'll see later on. All right. Right, Lifval Air Olympic Airport. There's still too many lights here. Right, then let's... All right, before I would <laughs> take this Strike Eagle for a spin, I would like to thank my assistants. So I will give credit to those who have assisted me in painting these planes with the real airline liveries and also the spider. And I have a lot of players. So there's Avia Niner Kilo, Bloomin Adversary, and Blitzen 2048, Captain Flyer 780, Chagun Vlogger, Shirnik Roma, the C Manual 75, Crash Test Dummy 500, Define Neo, Desired Flight, Itfig, G Boy 365, Godzilla Lover 242526, Hello IMXC Don't Ask, and Jackie HFC 1904, Kakako 60, KP Ultor, Life Tax, Lewis 101214, Rafa Magma Walker 1, Mr. Teddy's Best Day, Nail 123, Phantom Spy 102, Roblox User Aviation, Soccer Aviator, Skedazzle, <laughs> yeah, this one. Still here? Oh no, he's not here. So, this next one it's Skijazz, <laughs> yeah. Skijazz, like that's how you want to pronounce it as. And then there's also Stannis on 324, Stierne Krieger, Sinsasaza, Thomas Dare, Vogren Kraken, 
Get Kong 002, and Ezekiel Gamer. Once again, thanks for your lovely assistance in painting my aircraft, as well as other players too, because uh, one of you have painted the uh, version Australia 737 Max 8. Uh, it was a. <laughs> it's. It's Vulcan Ray Kraken, and, and another one to add the Wings ID. So if anyone have I missed, then just leave a comment. Now then we will end the video by getting a free flight on this McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle. See you on the next Aeronautica video, and enjoy the free flight. Once more, concurrent players.